Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and you're watching the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video five, and in this video, we are going to start customizing our site uh, by customizing the contact page we just built. Okay, now that we've got some content on our site, even if it's just this one page, let's just go ahead and do some customization so I can show you what that looks like. Um, keeping in mind that we're not going to do all of the customization of the site uh, yet because we don't have all of the content. Okay, so click this uh, back button to go back to the home, uh, the back button within the Squarespace site. Now go under design and we'll make changes to the style, fonts, colors, things like that under the style editor. So this is an important place to know how to get to. And when that opens up, you'll notice we've got all these options for changing colors and fonts and padding and widths and things like that. Um, and as you hover over different things and click on them, um, certain, uh, certain uh, uh, options will become available that's specific to what you clicked on. So if you wanna change the title color, click on the title and it pops up. Otherwise you can just scroll down until you find the thing that you want to change. So let's click on title here and we are going to change the color title. I find it just a little bit too dark. Um, so I'm going to change this to something lighter. So the code for the color code for the title that I want is still a gray, but it's a lighter gray. So it's kind of um, subtle, but again, this is my site, so I get to change what I want. Um, <laughs> and I'm not going to change everything. Um, but there are things that I do want to change and you're going to be the same way. You're going to change some stuff, but not everything. And you're probably going to have a little bit of a different, uh, uh, look and feel than what I would want. Okay. So now I'm going to change the hover color to, um, something a lot lighter. And the code for that is going to be eight, a, eight, a, eight, a. So there you go. And now might as well just stick with the title and let's change the, the typography, the font for this. So this is the default. I want to change it to Bakersville. So I'm going to go ahead and just type that in and see, oh, Basker, oops, Basker, Baskerville. All right, I'm going to change that. So I like that a lot more. And again, you know, when you get into fonts and stuff, you can just test and tweak things forever. At some point, you just got to make a decision and go with it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to change that. And then I'm going to change um, the style actually to 400 because it's a little bit thinner. I like that. Everything else is good. I actually like the font size and the letter spacing and all that stuff, but it's there to be changed as you want. Um, the nav bar, I can change a bunch of stuff in in that as well, and uh, the navigation color and things like that. But I actually like all the default defaults, so I'm going to leave that as that is. Now let's go into the body text, and this is kind of weird. So you would think you're you're hovering over the body text here, but it actually doesn't show up so for whatever reason with Squarespace. Um, body text shows up when you um, hover over kind of the entire site. I don't know, just how it is. Anyways, so let's change the um, the font type to something a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, just a little bit lighter. And this is again, just trial and error, whatever you feel like you want, go ahead and do it. I'm gonna change the typography to, let me just find it first. Okay, I can't find it in there, so I'm gonna go to show all and go find the typography. So the body text typography, default is Meriwether. I like Georgia, so I'm going to search for that and find it. And then all you have to do to save is just kind of click out of it. Um, and I like the font size to be significantly bigger. Um, about 17 pixels is good. I like that. Everything else is good. And now we've got this header three as well that we can change. So I'm going to change its color. Oops, header, th go find the header three color. Here's the color, I'm gonna change, actually it's fine as two, 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 that's good. 
Um, and the topography, I think, is fine as well. Let me just go have a quick look. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. OK, so in addition to fonts, we can also change some of this, um, some more different colors and stuff. So what I want to change is, let's see if I can find it. There we go. Uh, the background color and the background color is just going to be this kind of border right now it's white and it's the same as the canvas background but watch what happens when I turn it to um, gray so I'm gonna go F A F A F A click out of that oops what happened okay I did change the site background but you can't really see it because um, the the um, because the window is too small. So if I go press the escape key again, oh no, I got to save. And then I press the, and then I go back to design. And then I press the escape key. So there you'll see the, the that gray color that I, get, I just changed. It used to be white. Um, but when I go back and I kind of squeeze the page down, when I open this up, it disappears. But just, you got to trust me that I did, I did change it. <laughs> um, and you can change it to whatever you want whatever you want. So that's that site background color. The canvas color here is this white and I actually like that as it is. Okay, now let's go change um, some of the the paddings and the values of the different um, um, spacings on the site. What I found is there's just almost too much white space on this site and you can see if I if I go over to the live site you can see I squeeze things up. One of the reasons why I did that is just so that there was more real estate um, what's called um, above the fold, more more information above the fold so that people came to the site, could see what it's about and start kind of scrolling around. Um, with the basic site, there's just too much white space up here. So I've made some changes. Um, the site width is good at 1100 pixels. The page content though, which is this section in here, I want that to be increased. I want it to use up more of this space. So I'm going to move that up to 85%. You can see it changing live as I as I move things around. Um, the canvas padding, I'm going to bring that down quite a bit, and so the canvas padding is just the kind of the edges here. I'm going to bring that down to 30 pixels. There we go. Um, the top padding, I'm going to bring down to 40 pixels. And navigation spacing is fine. The header spacing I want to bring down to 15 pixels. So you can see as you just um, play around with these different things, you can just make it however you want it to be. And then the page padding, I'm going to bring that, that down to 32 pixels. Just kind of squeezing everything in, still keeping a bit of space. Uh, footer padding down to 23 pixels is what I've picked. Seems like a random number. And that's changing something just off to the bottom here. It's this padding down here. And everything else is good uh, for the sizes and values. If I go down to these options, um, you'll notice we still have this street address, city, state, phone number. That can be fine if your website is promoting a physical business. Um, like a restaurant or a retail store, um, but mine isn't, so I don't I don't need it. So I'm going to turn that off. So I turn that off by going to this header subtitle address. I could also have a tagline or something custom, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it all, and so that makes that disappear, which is pretty sweet. Um, now we've got this button here that we can customize as well. So if we scroll down to buttons. Um, I'm going to keep this outline. There's other options in there. We could have a solid button like that or a raised button. I don't know. I like this outline. It's pretty cool, pretty slick. But I do like to change the corner style to rounded. And it's really slight. It's these tiny little rounded edges. But I find I have a very square site. And it's nice to have just a bit of rounding. So I made that change. Now I'm going to change the button color to something that pops because right now I've got a lot of grays and blacks and whites. I need a bit of color in here. So I'm going to go with um, an orange. It's FF9900. And you can see that makes the change right away, which is pretty sweet. Makes it pop. So that's it for the start of our customizing. You can already tell that we're getting closer to how this looks. 
Um, you know, the contact page in particular looks pretty close to what we've got, which is which is awesome. And now in the next step, we're going to keep filling out the content in the rest of the pages, starting with the about page.